Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Jefferson 105 on today's tutorial I am going to show you how to use this module which is the easy driver provided by IC station this company is really really good and they sent me this module because I am making a small CNC or well, I have done it in, in using different different modules but this time I want to use this module so I'm going to show you how to use it as you can see here in a very quick package we have a ground we have a step and a direction pin which is all we need in order to to control this board here you will put the motor power and this is where you connect your motors uh, leads your four motors for the stepper motor A and B and um, what else we have here we also have another picture here which is really nice as you can see a very nice logo and very neat the module is very small as well which is good it's always a bonus and this is the the number so as the uh, the cool thing about this company they also have this this description here which is very useful always when it comes to um, setting up the current for your for your device for your driver you need to use this little screw that little screw so what you have to do is connect your multimeter to the the, the black lead will have to go to ground and the positive lead will have to go into the little hole and then as you and then you have to set it up in milli, milliamps so then you'll see the change and then you you have to move the screw around and then you'll see it changing until it goes to 0.8 which is the maximum that this driver can can handle or can provide okay so as you can see the maximum drive current is only 8 milliamps this is why it's su very suitable for it's suitable for what I need to do for the uh, small motors that I'm using also the only pins that we're going to be using are going to be the direction pin and the step pin which is a pulse width modulation pin that we need to uh, pulse is in like uh, square waves which are how you control this and the direction pin as stated in the name it tells you whether which way to go basically and this is what I've commented before so this is where you connect your motor power and this is how you connect your stepper motor whether you have a big one of those or you have a small one the connections are more or less the same if you're not sure which two wires go where when you touch with if you put the multimeter in the continuity setup when you touch the two pads or the two the two leads together for example yellow and blue you should you should hear a sound from coming from your multimeter like a beep and that way it tells you that that coil is one single wire and therefore these two leads are connected and then you put these two leads there and you put the other two leads in there therefore the two coils inside of the motor and that's how you do that then when it comes to this bit these two pins as you're gonna see later on in the tutorial I've used 3 and 5 but having used Arduino you know I'm, I'm using Arduino Nano it doesn't really matter as long as the pins you know which ones they are really make sure that the stepper pin is, is a PWM it's just one of my recommendations the direction pin can be any other pin that's not, not a problem really and that is it don't forget to come around this website and check them out okay guys here in the bag we have the module so we're just going to open this and then I'm going to show you roughly how it looks like and then we are getting ready for soldering it's 4944 the number for this bag and it comes there's the module itself as you can see here and then there's the logo of the company as well which it looks alright and they include the header mails which I'm gonna solder now